this is the one of the new ones. Which is a different kind of a brown. But this one is the one I think that we're probably going to Ooh, this is a nice color. Yeah. Look it's like one. terracotta. It's, got, it's really earthy, right? Like more natural? Mm. Yeah. That looks like cumin. <laughs> it literally does. You want it on your face? No. Okay, it's super like stuck to me. So kinda like turmeric. <laughs> kinda like turmeric. Mm -hmm. So the colors we've made samples out of already are more like pastels. Mm -hmm. Is that red? Yeah. But and then the other challenge is there's different manufacturers for the pigment. So it's going to vary slightly. It will. So I'm thinking these are going to be good depending on ratio. Doesn't this look gold? It literally looks like cumin. <laughs> yeah, those are my two favorite. Right now? Yeah, let's make a sample. We're going to do three of this, but different. Like. Or do you want me to do one like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so two and one? Yeah. Mix number 17. Yeah, we'll call it turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> no, cumin. C-U-M-I-N. 15 mil. So my base mix is all going to be the same now. Okay. And then we have... Okay, so we have... Yeah. Fifteen there. I'm gonna do it in order of two. I'm gonna dump two more in that one. You know, like these two, these bags were forty dollars each. Yeah, so the other thing we're going to try is we're going to use the rammer now. Mm, I don't believe that's going to fit in there. I thought it was bigger in the bottom. No. Nope. Fits, fits perfect with a little bit of extra room. Wow. So mix number 17. That's mm -hmm. our next size up. Get here. Oh, you know what? What? It's a little bit of water in there. And you gotta mix this dry. Uh oh. So uh, the dry mix is not too bad. I was trying to avoid that part. I'm gonna get tired after all. <laughs> Dry mixed. It still just looks like dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Dump her in.
Okay, so what do we got? Mix and go. Mix and go. Mix and go bucket for our rammed earth. Well, first off, we're going to attach it to the skid steer. It has auxiliary hydraulics and it drives the auger to mix our mix for the rammed earth walls. So it consists of base mix, sand, cement, mm -hmm. pigment, water. And it's a very dry mix once we put it in here, so we need a chain drive. Might be a little overkill, but I know it's not going to break down on me. It also has... This here connects... Come around this side, please. Connects to the bottom chute, which is also auxiliary, so you can operate it through a switch. I'm not sure how that works yet. So you connect the tube to here and then you can put the tube into the forms and direct where you want the round earth to go or concrete if you're using concrete. We've also got a side chute. So this is in a kind of a face down position when it's on the machine. The grate is going to be up, up, up in the top so it holds everything in there. And then you got your side chute which that connects. We'll show you this quickly again once we get it connected with the hydraulics. So I'm going to hop in and get it connected to the skid steer. So we've got our controller. Everything is on this side of the skid steer as well. So we'll put that over the top. Okay, let's, let's see, the first go with this. Sample City down there, and we're doing more. And I've got a brand new sample, which I'm going to bring over. The sun helps it cure a little bit quicker and bring the color out. So let's go grab it. He's so strong. <laughs> Okay, so we were doing a couple different samples. This one was with the rammer and it was a little wet. And then all those little blocks that you can see far away. So we've changed the sample process to get 
the different colors in one because it will all what help explain it a little better for everybody because mm -hmm. that whole form system is going to be filled with long layers um am i explaining myself <laughs> yeah yeah okay do you want to unscrew it You gotta go righty tighty lefty Lucy. What way is it? Have to go the other way. Yeah. Look at me screwing. Cool. Nice. Did you watch me do that, or you just know what you're doing? I watched you a couple times. I don't want to strip them like that. No, no, it makes that sound. It's an impact. You got some good technique there. I'm impressed. Yeah, eh? Where, where are you from? Canada, are you? That's how we talk out here, right? Ah, what, what you doing there, eh? Screwing. <laughs> Actually, unscrewing. <laughs> I'm screwing these bolts, eh? I'm gonna get them out. There's, there's screws, they're not bolts. Getting them out. Oop. Out in a boat. Oop, boat. Yeah, that's good. Well, there's two more, but that's good for out. Oh. Impact. Woo! I got fast at the end there. Feather it enough. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. The big moment. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That looks like my rendering. It sure does. Colors. Let's do a little B roll of that right now. Wow. I love it. Very nice. The black did, is did really I pick, nice. Did I pick the right color? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a wasp on the camera. Uh -huh. Boom. Gorgeous, babe. Is it all brown? It's hard to tell. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I feel really it's good. cocoa. Cacao. <laughs> I feel really good because we bought a bunch. Yeah. We bought a whole bunch of this color. Yeah. And we had a mishap on the way home. Can you see? So to be clear, I mixed the black at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So this is quite a bit drier, and it's showing like bits of brown. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. It still gives you the effect. Mm -hmm. So and then I just left it in the bucket covered. So this is the lowest strength to the next. But look at how much color we get with a low strength. There's not a huge difference there, is there? No. Nope. So it's like there's a max, which is good because like I said, we're gonna use less pigment mm -hmm. to achieve this color. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna cost us less money. Yeah. I what like a that. difference between this. Well, this is gonna to lighten too, so we might see a difference. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. I really like it. We did it. You did it. You, I couldn't do it without you. Any of it. <laughs> I don't want to, so. Looks better than this weird thing. Yeah, Mom. That literally just looks like the hole we just dug in the dirt <laughs> around it. Yeah. Cool. This man. is spectacular. That's got some wow. Yeah. Oh, look at the butterfly. So I could even go. So we call it 2%, 1.5%, 1%, 1 half%. Are you going to do another sample? Do you want me to? No, I'm just wondering maybe what you could do if you're not going to reuse these forms is you can just write. I have it on duct tape, oh, like all of them. Okay. I know what I did. Okay. So I'll take a picture with that. Okay. I was going to say this? you can like write that and then this can be like your guide for when you're doing it. So you can have it can be kind of like a recipe. Mm -hmm. We got to let this cook for a couple days. Yeah. 
-hmm. and it'll change. Cool. I really like that one. Yeah. That's looking like something we want. Yeah. 